Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 237, Many Uses of the Verb Phrase, Go Down, Part 2. Yeah, we just finished Part 1. We're going to have a three-part series. This one is Part 2. All right, so let's, uh, let's look at the first one we have today. The first one is actually number 6, because in the first video we covered number 1 through 5. So number 6, uh, to go down could mean to move one's body. Uh, in a lower position, especially on one knee, get down on just one knee, get down on both knees, or get down on all fours. All right, so um, all fours means that both your arms and your legs are touching the ground. You know, especially if you were looking for something or you had to get under something or crawl under something, you might be on all fours. Okay, so let's look at the first example. He got down on one knee to propose to his fiancée. Yeah, we see this in the movies all the time. This is a traditional way to try to propose. Uh, you might get down on one knee for some other reasons, too. Maybe to, to tie your shoes, for example. You might get down on one knee. Or there could be some other situations where you, you needed to do it. Um, all right, let's look at number two. Uh, she got down on her knees to pray. Or, you know, in the movies, maybe somebody might be begging. They might get down on their knees. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he got down on all fours to look for his missing contact lenses. Yeah, maybe he couldn't find it, or maybe he thought it fell, like, under a couch or a sofa. And, you know, he's down on all four, you know, all four looking very close to the ground. Yeah, especially if somebody needs their contact lens to see, then they probably only got one good eye, so they want to get closer to it. So they may get down on all fours. Okay, let's look at number seven. Um, if the sun goes down, it appears too lower in the sky, uh, and it eventually gets darker until it is night. Yeah, we often say the sun is going down, or, or just like uh, the example here, the, the sun usually starts to go down around 7 p.m. Maybe if you traveled somewhere, you might ask someone, uh, what time does the sun go down? here in this location, in this area, especially if you flew somewhere where it's a different time zone. Okay, good. Um, let's look at number eight. If a computer or machine goes down, it stops working temporarily. Yeah, uh, it has uh, the implication that you probably will fix it and it will be up again eventually, but it went down. It's down for now. It's not working at this time. Okay, so here's the example. My computer went down, and I was unable to up to uh, load any videos or upload any videos. Okay, good. Let's look at number nine. Um, it could mean to sink or to crash. Uh, if a ship or boat goes down, it sinks. Very simple. Under the water. If a plane goes down, it crashes. Um, so, of course, here we say the Titanic went down and was lost under the water for many decades. Yeah, they did eventually find it. Uh, you might have even seen some pictures online with it. I think uh, maybe in the movie Titanic, they might have showed you the real, uh, the real boat under the water that was supposed to be in the future. So, they did find it, but it went down, and it, it's, it stayed down there for a long time. Still down there, but at least they know where it is. Um, okay, and let's look at the last one for this lesson. Uh, number 10 here, swelling. Yeah, if someone has a swollen area on their body and it goes down, the swelling starts to reduce or get smaller until it disappears. Yeah, you know, maybe if you hit part of your body, you hit your head, you had a bump, you know, uh, it's standing up for a while, but then eventually goes down, down, down and until you look completely normal. Uh, you can have a swelling, you can have a mosquito bite that's big, and that could go down again until it disappears. You have some sort of swelling on your body, so we say the swelling went down. The swelling uh, got smaller and smaller until it disappeared. Okay, uh, again, I hope you got it. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.